hey what is going on guys welcome back to another video and i haven't been able to upload a video for quite a while uh it's almost been a month but uh from today i will try to upload regularly so new videos will come out every monday and friday today we're going to talk about post graphile so i've been working with this particular technology for three weeks now and uh, i just wanted to share my experience so i don't know the ins and outs of post graphile but I'm going to share my experience with you guys. So to get started, let me just explain what PostgreFile is. So PostgreFile is basically a library which you can use on an existing or a new Postgres database to create a GraphQL API. So you might have heard of uh, things like Hasura and Prisma. It's basically in the same space, but it actually uh, works for Node.js. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how easy it is to get started with PostgreFile. So you have to just run this command and for that you need to have a database. So I'll just show you a custom, I'll just show you a schema. So this is basically a schema on which I run PostgreFile. So just before I start, I want to talk about what I knew before getting into PostgreFile. So I had basic idea of what GraphQL is. I had no idea of how Postgres works. So I managed to get the GraphQL server running in a week. Uh, because I had to go through a lot of documentation but if you are already familiar with GraphQL and Postgres I think it would be a matter of maybe a couple of days and you would have a full-fledged GraphQL API ready for you so this is basically the schema that I am running PostgreFile on nothing fancy just two functions register authenticate and two tables post and user and a type which is JWT token so so PostgreFile handles JWT authentication for you out of the box so that is pretty cool. So this is basically the command that I used to run the PostgreFile server. So you just need a schema and this command and rest is taken care by PostgreFile. So if you just go to, so when you run uh, this particular command, you will get this output. So you have the GraphQL API here on localhost 5000 GraphQL and the uh, GUI uh, for graphical available here so with this you can basically have CRUD operations for the tables that you have created so you don't have to write any code and this works uh, flawlessly so let me just run a couple of commands so uh, basically let's just try to run authentication so a mutation so, or let me just use the history tab so I have a mutation called register so I can just have register called user1 or just say user and password as user1 and run and this will create a user for me so mind you there is no backend code written for this this is just running off a cmd command and then you can have this authenticate where I pass in user and user one and yeah so when we run authenticate you get back this jwt so i have not written any code to create this jwt so this is validated and created by PostgreFile. so using this you can basically save a ton of developer time so i've been writing rest apis for a while and when i went ahead with PostgreFile, i've saved around a month of the backend backend development and i can just focus on uh, the more exciting part that is the front end so it saves you a lot of time a ton of time and it's pretty easy to set up so this is the jwt and then you can make uh, writes to the database so you can have something like this and then you can just list all ports posts using this now uh, what else can you do with PostgreFile? So another thing that is very interesting is the extensibility of PostgreFile. So you can basically extend PostgreFile using something called as plugins. So you have these plugins here. So schema plugins. So these are pretty much all that you need. So I have used make wrap resolvers plugin, which basically wraps the default resolvers. So it's pretty extensible. So if you want to use PostgreFile for, for an existing Node.js project, it is very easy. So you can use it as a middleware for your uh, Node.js app. And what this means is you can basically have certain endpoints 
which point to the post graph file and certain endpoints which point to the rest so if you currently have a rest api which is written completely in node.js you can migrate your rest to to graphql in phases which is extremely awesome because you don't want to change everything and uh, incur a lot of developer cost and a lot of developer time so basically postgrephile allows you to have a phase transition from your rest api to your uh, graphql api provided you're you're already running a uh, node server and you have a postgres schema so to wrap it up what are my thoughts on postgrephile is this worth exploring is this worth giving it a shot from my experience i'd say that if you are building a POC uh, and you happen to use Postgres and Node, then be sure to at least try once in Postgres file. Uh, it wouldn't take a lot of time, but you would generate a ton of value from it. There is a lot to talk about in Postgres file. So if you want me to go in depth, do let me know and I'll make that video happen. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. New video coming out this Monday. And thank you guys for watching. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.